Hello, YouTube family. Tom, a.k.a. Patrick, here today with... Marcy. Welcome to Patrick's Playbook. Everyone who watches this channel on a normal basis, and for everyone new, it has been around six weeks since we have filmed anything. I apologize. It has been a crazy summer in a good way. We've had so many fun activities. Everyone in our family is fine. Everything is going great. I hope all of you out there, every single person in the world, but every, you know, for this, for these purposes, everyone who's watching has had a beautiful summer. I hope everyone's healthy and well. Thank you for being patient, everyone. We are going to do a Dollar Tree today. I am so excited to bring this with my daughter, Mercy, to bring you this haul. It's a Dollar Tree haul and we're doing it, as you can tell, from my car. And it's raining, everyone. Hooray. And it yeah. never rains in Minnesota. It's, I know. We have had a drought. This rain is a good thing. It's good for the crops. I it's good it. for the animals. Bring it on. A nice, peaceful, rainy Sunday. So I apologize for any sounds you hear for the rain, but it might be soothing to some of you. Um, it's soothing to me. Guys, without further ado. Oh, of course, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. Helps us out a lot. Like I said, it's been a while. So glad to be back. So excited. I can't wait to hear comments from everyone. Leave a comment if you like. I answer them all. I talk too much. Sorry. <laughs> Without further ado, let's begin this haul. Yes. With a fun taste test at the end. Of course, as always. Okay, so I'm going to start first. As you can see on my lap, I have this huge bin full of stuff, but that's not what we're going to get into first. I first of all have this bag right here actually i'm not gonna take it out because i don't want anything to tumble yes um but we have a lot of new uh fall stuff fall decorations and all that if you don't know fall is my favorite season so right up my alley um ah, okay first of all we have these napkins these are just some fall themed napkins as you can see um, I don't know if there's, there's a lot of glare, but um, it's got a lot of nice colors like oranges and yellows and also some blues. Just kind of tie it all in. Um, it's a very nice color combination in my opinion, very nice pattern, and these are just perfect as just little napkins. 24 count, want to add? Oh yes, of course, that's always good. Um, we have these two mini signs right here as well. Um, we have two of them right here. This one says autumn leaves and lattes, please. For all of you that love the pumpkin spice lattes uh, at like any coffee place, those are probably going to come out very soon. Um, so yeah, so there's that little sign that has like this little like beaded thing to like hang up on your wall. And then we also have this sign right here that says hello pumpkin. I love the sunflowers in the back. I Yes, I just like it a lot. Um, so there we go. And then we have two um, bigger signs right here. Oh my gosh. Ah, sorry about that. Um, anyways, we have these two signs which are pie recipes. Uh, we have this one that is a pumpkin pie recipe and then ah, this one right here. That is an apple pie recipe. Um, you know, I have been kind of wanting to go back to like cooking and baking. I don't really do it too often, but when I do, I really like it. And I love making pies. So Yum. who knows if you want to see us make one of these pies, let us know. And That'd be um, an idea. yeah, I would love to make it. So there's that. And then that's kind of all for like our fall stuff right now. But then um, another thing, one more thing that we have left in this bag before we get into the big bin is this book right here. Um, this is called Homespun Style. It's this really huge book that's only $1.25. That's unbelievable. Which is kind of crazy considering that this book in the back says it's almost like 30 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just got like... Um, these like really creative like interior like design ideas and all that. That's kind of one of the more cleaner pages, but got like a lot of nice like um you know just like um 
a lot of nice pages just full of like creative stuff i'm sorry this is <laughs> it's kind of hard to like show yes. the pages but yeah. we're in a car so excuse us for any you know yeah <laughs> but honestly i'm kind of excited this is just kind of fun just to, like look at some like colorful inspiration uh, crafting inspiration all that so i love that and now that is all for the small bag that i kind of had over there and now we get into this big bin <laughs> um so first of all i'm gonna show some like kind of more like school supply type of things um so first we have these two um pencil cases uh, we have this pink one and this purple one kind of in this like marbly design which i love but the really cool thing about this is that it's a double pencil case so you can open it up like so right here and then in the back you can if i can find it there we go you can also open it right here and it's a double pencil case That's pretty cool. like you can have this one's kind of more of a little organized compartment this one's a more um, open one and yeah i think this is cool just to, like organize all of your stuff i definitely use dollar tree pencil cases quite a bit um so yeah we have that in purple and also in pink and then um we also have these notebooks right here um we've got three of them uh these first two are hard covers this one says peace and or peace love um i really like it and we have this other one right here that says positive vibes you know they're these nice hardcover books um very small very compact you can take them around with you wherever and then this one's kind of more of like a softer cover book as you can see um this one just has some some goofy little smiley faces which we love so there's that one as well um, I'm trying to think. There was I don't know, there's something else in here. If I find it, I'll come back to it. But um, there's also these flashcards right here. Um, these are Winnie the Pooh flashcards. My brother, he he loves stuff like mm -hmm. this. He does. Um, so we got this one that says uh, colors and shapes. This one is a number match. This one is a first words one. Um, so yeah, these are just kind of fun, um, just for, like, younger kids, and yeah, they're just very good, very educational, too. And then, oh, here's the thing I was trying to look for, this. This is a sticky note set, that kind of in the same, like, purpley vibe as that one pencil case. I actually want to open it up to show you guys yes, what is inside. Um, so it's like this, it's just this little booklet, and then it opens up, and you get all of your little sticky notes, um, in these very nice colors, and I love sticky notes, um, but I'll probably more so use these for collaging purposes, because I love to collage, um, so there you go, and then, alright, I think that's it for school supplies and, like, that kind of stuff for right now. Um, next up, I have some hair accessories, uh, which you saw in the thumbnail. So, first of all, I have these butterfly clips. Um, these are very, um, they're kind of bigger than, like, your typical butterfly clip, but they're very, very sparkly and very nice. Um, and, yes, I have two sets in here. So, two of them to kind of match, like, one on each side of my head. Um, yeah, but they're just... Very nice overall. Then I also have these snap clips or barrettes right here. These are really cute. Um, we have these like little embroidered flowers and I love kind of like, or not embroidered, like crochet kind of style. Um, I love anything like this. Like um, if you crochet, like that is amazing. Like I wish I could crochet, <laughs> um, but yeah, they're just these really nice little flower clips. Um, and then we also have these uh, claw clips as well. I know that these are super popular. Um, I've tried wearing claw clips before. They're kind of, my hair is kind of, 
I don't know, <laughs> not really suited for clock clips, mm. but I'm going to try to like wear them more often, like try to wear them, you know, but I just think these are really cute. Um, so there's this one that's kind of pearly with these flowers. And then there is this big blue bl claw clip as well. I feel like this one's kind of more, ah, kind of more for my style of hair. Um, but there is that one as well. Um, and then these are just some more of those crochet snap clips. Um, and then I also have, oh yes, I have more. I have these mini claw clips as well. Um, these are by the brand Sophie, and uh, they're really cool. I really like the colors on these, like they're pink and kind of tan and the marbly ones, and there's two of them. These are kind of nice just for some like little mini clips to pull back your hair. Um, and then we have some scrunchies. I love scrunchies. I wear scrunchies every single day. Um, so these are very nice. Um, we have these three scrunchies right here, also by the brand Sophie. Um, we have this one, it's kind of, has some like warmer browns. This one that has a lot of green and blue going on. And then this one that's kind of like a cheetah print kind of vibe. Uh, yeah, I really like those. And then I believe that is all for hair care or not hair care, hair clips, hair accessories. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, all right, what do we have next? Uh, this one's kind of more of like a, kind of more of like an office one too. I guess you can maybe kind of do this with school supplies, but there's this planner right here that says dream big, work hard. And if you flip it open, there is these pages um, for every single day of the week so that you can kind of plan out everything. You know, you can do a whole lot of stuff with this, like maybe like school assignments or maybe like uh, dinner plans, you know, like you can honestly do a lot with this type of stuff. And with these planners in general, here we go. Um, all right, and then I have these birthday candles right here. Um. I love birthday candles. I think it's such a great birthday tradition to blow out the candles on your cake. Um, so we have these ones, these ones in pink and blue. Um, there's, I believe, 17 pieces, I think, maybe like 16 candles, and then like one of these that says happy birthday. Um, so yeah, that is very nice. Um, my birthday is until a long ways away, but you know, it's always fun to imagine it's your birthday. <laughs> um, okay, we also have this kind of like fanny pack or like crossbody type bag, I think. Yeah, it says it's a crossbody cross bag. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of these, these types of designs, but we decided to pick up this kind of blue tie-dye one. Um, you can honestly put like a lot in here. Like you can fit like your keys, your phone, sunglasses, like any of that type of stuff. Um, and it's just great to travel around. Like this type of stuff is like very popular. So a very, very good item for only $1.25. Um, so there is that. Um, also kind of in like the present section, uh, we have these uh, tissue papers. We have three of them right here. We have this one has these little silly little monster guys. We have this one that has like flowers and fruits and all that. Or not, yeah, there's flowers on here. Kind of a summery vibe. And then we also have this one with all of these little hearts. So yeah, I always like wrap up presents for whenever my friends have like a birthday going on. So that is all, that's very good to get. Um, and then I have this sign right here. <laughs> um, I kind of want to put this on my door um, just because, I don't know, I just think it's kind of silly. Um, it says, yes, we are open on one side and then and says, closed, please call again, we'll return. Um, I think maybe you can move the clock. I'm not quite sure. I think you can. Yes. I think. Okay. Yes. But anyways, so it's this right here. Um, 
yeah i just think it's nice to have like on your door front for like a store or for your own door <laughs> so there's that all right and then we have some kind of like more like skincare kind of stuff on um, these two things kind of go together we have some uh cotton rounds um from just the dollar tree brand i think and then we also have some missler water putting these two together is great honestly for like if you're wearing like makeup and you like don't want to use like makeup wipes you can just like put this on your face and put them on like one of these cotton pads it gets it all off um or you can also use like the missler water just to like just to you know like clean your skin and all that like this is very very popular um so yeah and you don't have to rinse it which is great and of course cotton rounds like they're kind of an essential so there are those and then we also have this gentle skin cleanser from the brand be pure uh, we already have the moisturizer of this which i personally really like um and so now we have the actual like cleanser for your face which is very important for skincare um so yeah i'm assuming that is also gonna be very good and then last but not least we have these four packs of these true north sparkling waters um we have them in the uh yes in the flavors black cherry and cucumber lime i've tried these these are pretty good um and they come in a form pack like some dollar trees i've heard have like individual cans some yes. have the four packs and we got the four pack I which know. is obviously a better deal um so yeah that is very very good and plus they're a very like flavorful sparkling water so if you like that um instead of like a lighter sparkling water i think you'll like these so yeah that is it from my end of the haul and now patrick mercy take it over thank you so much that was amazing i want to add really quick about the true north um mercy and i both tried them I don't like them as much. I gave, um, I had 7.8 as a score for one of them. I just thought I'd throw that in and about a 7.0 for the other one. But I will just say for anyone who likes that brand or is into that, that is an amazing deal. Yes. Four for a buck 25. Think of that. 31 cents a piece. Wow. Thank you so much, Mercy. Yes. So I just want to add really quick that we have a taste test at the end. Very exciting taste test at the end. And without further ado, let's continue the haul. So yeah. I wanted to just show just some kind of um, some miscellaneous items. And then I have some books and then I have some food and then the taste test. So here we go with the miscellaneous items. Some of these are just really simple everyday stuff. Not the most exciting in the world, but this is an incredible deal. A hundred spoons. One hundred for a dollar twenty-five. That's a really good deal. Mm -hmm. You know, they're Dixie. You know, name brand, you know. Um, I will throw in for those who care, this is made in China. So I'd throw that in. Georgia Pacific is, you know, an American company, but these are specifically made in China. Some of you have said in the comments you'd like me to mention if so, so I will mention that. But like I said, a hundred spoons for a dollar twenty-five. Wow. And everything in this haul is a dollar twenty-five. There's yes. nothing here from the bonus section at all. Nothing. So I just wanted to throw that in Even so the plus everyone knows. Is very good. The plus section and our Dollar Trees here in the Twin Cities are excellent. So we found that. Um, speaking of great deals, you get, this is Cascade, obviously popular name brand. A lot of times you will find four action packs for $1 and we found six. Six for a dollar is a very good uh, price. Obviously these are the dishwasher tabs and you get six for a dollar at our Dollar Tree. So we were very excited to find that. A wonderful deal and a great name brand. Now, I decided to haul this. We, we hauled this um, last year or recently and it did not work out great for us, this toothbrush. We thought we'd give it another try. So we're gonna give this another try and I will let you know how this works. It does come with this own battery and you know, just kind of has, you know, self-explanatory, but has instructions on the back. Um, battery powered toothbrush, obviously, and we're gonna give this a try. It is the soft brush. Um, 
you know, the last time it was it was difficult sometimes to close this. It wouldn't work for us properly, but we just thought for $1.25, we'd give it another try. So we picked that up and then we picked up uh, the refills for it, four refills. So, you know, even if it doesn't work, the battery part of it, we'll still use the toothbrush just by hand. But so we did pick up four refills for that toothbrush. And uh, these are also both of these products made in China. I just want to mention that super quick. So we found that. Um, this is kind of neat. This is, you know, these are hook and loop fasteners. You know, self-explanatory, 8.75 inches by 30 inches. Tool bench of the Dollar Tree brand. And kind of some, you know, instructions on the back. And hook and loop fasteners. Oh, we found those. And it's the Dollar Tree brand, the Green Briar. And similarly, in here, I know I have somewhere. This is kind of fun. So this is for... You know, if you want to hang a picture, but you don't want to use a nail, you can use these. These are removable picture strips, and it gives really detailed instructions. It's, it is small, but it just says, you know, to apply strips, peel off the release paper, do not touch the adhesive, place strips in desired location, and press firmly for a full 30 seconds. Wait 12 hours before applying weight. So that is important. So if you do these, you have to wait 12 hours before you apply, the, you know, the weight of the picture. But yeah, just for those of you who don't want to, you know, Put a nail into your wall you can try this and this is the dollar tree brand the green briar we picked those up so we'll give those a try we thought that was kind of a neat kind of a neat find so we found yeah. those um these are fun these are um uh, travel powdered travel power sorry not powdered travel battery powered toothbrushes you know if you're on the if you're on the go if you're on a road trip Kind of neat designs on those and these are also made in china but these are like i said you know just for if you're going camping if you're you know going to a cabin you're traveling somewhere hotel for the summer anywhere you can find these just quick um toothbrushes but i really like i really like the design of these two it's just kind of fun so we picked those up oh let's open one up let's open one up and show just kind of show how this works I thought it'd be kind of neat to show everyone. Okay, right, so look at that. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. It's got the button here. Um, these do not come with batteries. You have to put your own battery in there, which is just fine. I actually have some batteries to show you in this haul. So yeah, that's what one looks like out of the package. It's great that it comes in a case. Yes, too. I agree. So I just thought that was kind of a fun find. And like I said, those do not. Oh, here's another one. I'm sorry. I found another one in the bag. When you haul from a car, sometimes you don't find it in the bag right away. So there's the other one. So it's just kind of neat designs on those. And like I said, does not come with the batteries. And look what we found. Now, batteries are not remarkable in and of themselves. This is the first time I've seen this brand name battery, Kodak. I honestly did not know that Kodak was in the battery business, and obviously they are. It's the first time that I have seen Kodak. I have seen Kodak batteries on other people's Dollar Tree hauls. I have not seen Kodak batteries in our Dollar Trees here in the Twin Cities, but now I have, and we picked them up. Obviously, as you can see, you get five here, uh, four plus one, double A batteries, Kodak. So we found those. Kind of a neat find. And the last thing from this bag here are these Surefresh small round petite um, ice packs, removable, removable ice packs, uh, snaps onto the lid. The dimensions are, are 1.75 cups, 14 fluid ounces. So we found those. And I wanted to add, it has stopped raining. Hey. It is very humid out though. So if I sweat, I apologize. But yes. a little humid in the car. <laughs> That's Mercy might sweat too. <laughs> maybe we should roll, maybe we'll roll down the windows mm -hmm. slightly. Just so we get a little air because I think Mercy mm -hmm. and I are both starting to sweat just a tiny bit because it's so humid. Mm -hmm. Okay, apologize for any noise. If it gets too loud, we'll put the windows back up. So guys, that is my first bag. And now let's move on 
I have some really, really fun stuff in this bag. This is fun. You know, some of that stuff was fun. It was kind of like everyday use. This is a lot of fun. Um, we found a really fun calendar and then three books. I want to show you this remarkable book here. And again, I mean, just think about this, $1.25. So this book here, as you can see, $18.99, $21.99 in Canada is supposed to go for. Um, there's also a CD inside. And obviously, as you can see here, this is at Explore 360, Digital 360 Tour of Pompeii. You know, the, the famous um, incident in Pompeii with the volcano. The story of Pompeii, the famous city buried under the ashes of Mount Vesuvius and frozen in time continues to fascinate us almost 2,000 years later. So we just thought that was so neat. Mercy, you love history. Oh, and yeah. Just, you know, it's just fascinating. The whole Pompeii thing is yeah. absolutely fascinating, I find. So I, I haven't read this yet. I cannot wait to read this. So I thought that was... And just look how nice the book looks. This is such a nice book. Let me just show you a couple pages inside, just for reference. Look at that. This is just such a really, it just looks like it's so interesting. It's got maps. You know, it's got like an extended page here. I mean, this is so cool. I, I don't really have the camera even to show the whole thing. But just kind of look at that. Look at that. Just kind of really neat. So, I mean, I, I know Mercy and I will both read this book. I'm very excited to read this book. And again, you know, this would be a fun book at $19. It's a lot funner book at $1.25. So really, really good deal here. And yeah, I just find this endlessly fascinating. Endlessly fascinating. I love history of any kind. And Pompeii is an absolutely fascinating tale. Real life tale. So we found that. And then I'm going to show you this calendar and then two more books. So this is a calendar 2024, 12 month. Each month is right here, all 12 months. As you can see, sorry for any glare on the plastic. And you know, here's one that says, begin each day with a grateful heart. Here's one that says, family, where life begins and love never ends. There's one that says, love the moment. There's a Merry Christmas for December. And as you can see, so there's are there are the 12 months. You could pause the screen and look. Here's one's probably for July, America the Beautiful. July would be my guess. Anyways, this is just um, a really nice calendar. I mean, $1.25, sign me up. You know, there we, there we have it. And it's, you know, the Dollar Tree, the Green Briar, as you can see. So we found that. And then, guys, anyone who's watched my channel knows that I love football and knows that I love the singer, Prince. And we found books for both. Here's the Prince book. Dig, if you will, the picture, which is a line from the song When Doves Cry, his technically his biggest hit. Um, I mean, look at this. This is by Ben Greenman, a dollar twenty-five, a dollar twenty-five, and this is normally twenty-eight dollars for a price, thirty-nine dollars in Canada wow. for our Canadian friends. Um, I'm trying to see. Is there any pictures in here? There are not. There are no pictures in this book. So I just want to point that out that. For some of you, that might be important. And I think it's just a straight biography of Prince. Forward by Quest Love, the singer Quest Love. So anyways, I cannot wait to read this. I'm looking forward to this. He is, you know, a top five artist for me. He's beloved in Minnesota. Mercy likes Prince, likes the work of Prince. So yeah, we found that. I'm so excited to read that. I will let everyone know when I'm done reading that, what I think of it. And oh my goodness, everyone, I'm so excited. This is called Obsessed with Football, and yes, I am. I am obsessed with football. The NFL season starts in a month, one month from tomorrow on September 7th. Preseason, I love preseason, but the regular season, one month from tomorrow. This is 2,500 questions. And when you ask a question of it, you then try down here. And if you get it right, it says correct, if you get it wrong, it tells you. Um, I picked up three different copies of this and I've already started some of the questions on another one. I'm showing you one we haven't used yet, but uh, so far in 10 questions, I am seven and three. So not too bad, but I got three wrong. So some of these questions are difficult, but I will say this book was written in 2009. So, you know, it's 14 seasons old, but if you love football history, this is a really fun book, and again, $1.25.
and there's you know just some pictures on the back this originally priced you know 29.95 us wow but yeah again like inside here you know you just get pictures all kinds of cool pictures um you know super bowls just all kinds of really fun questions so obsessed with football you got vince lombardi here who's this guy tom brady this will be the first season without tom brady since the year 1999 can you believe that That's so crazy. the first year since 1999 that tom brady will not play professional football that is a wild thought everyone so there you have it we picked that up Woo, that was a lot right there okay oh, yeah. i have one more bag and then our taste test and then our taste test so this is just these are all food items here and just a couple food items that are really fun um we found these Columbina Club Crackers. And these are distributed. I'm trying to see what country. Colombia. As I thought perhaps they would be. Made in Colombia, yes. Um, here is the calorie information. 160 calories per serving. We're not taste testing this one, so I won't go too, too deep into it. But for anyone who cares, there is, you could pause that and look at that. Yeah, but we'll give these a try. This will be fun. I like, you know, I like Club, Clacker, club Crackers. 7.2 ounces. So we found that. Now, I love pretzels of any kind. I have rarely tried a pretzel I don't like. Snyder's is a great brand. I can't wait. This is a repeat item. I've, I've had these before. Uh, the calorie info in here. It's 110 per serving. Um, we're not going to taste test these. These are baked in the USA in Berlin, Pennsylvania. This is a you know pretty big brand name, Snyder's of Hanover. Really excited to try that. Mercy, you like pretzels? Yes. Yes. I know you did. Um, watch your watch your expiration dates. This does expire September twenty third, twenty twenty three. So we got about six weeks to eat these. Believe me, these will be gone then. So I will make sure that those are eaten by then. And then just a couple more things, and then our taste test. Yay. Exciting. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna close the windows just for a second, just okay. in case the noise. We just guys, it was really humid in the car, so mm -hmm. I just wanted to. Sorry for any. Sorry if that noise bothered anyone, but it was just Mercy and I were getting kind of. It, it rained, out. so it made it very humid. It made it very humid. But we're almost finished, so I will just move quickly through these. Obviously, everyone knows the brand name Welch. We found these Welch Juice Falls, juicy fruit snacks. Yum yum. Berry blast. Looking forward to these. You know, Welch's is an American. It says, oh, Welch's is an American company, but these were produced in Spain. So I thought I'd throw that in. Um, product of Spain. Yes, product of Spain. The expiration date here, it's like, I like to look at the expiration dates now because that last one was actually pretty close to, to eating. Let me see. You oh, see it, Mercy? So weird. Oh yeah, they kind of have it sort of like the European writing, but I think these are pretty safe, you know, to eat. Yeah, they kind of have, here's sort of their expiration date. It's kind of like, it's kind of, I, I really it's can't. Like a weird, like, yeah, it's like a weird, you know, it says 23. So I assume you should eat these before the end of the year. But like, here's the calorie info there. I won't go too deep into it, but yeah, those are yummy. We were happy to find those. Um, Louisiana, Louisiana hot sauce. I always love that. Always willing to pick up that. This is a lot for $1. twenty-five. 17 ounces is a lot. So we love this. I love this, I should say. Um, and then two more. Another Welch's Juice Fools Mixed Fruit. So again, product of Spain. Calorie info. 200 or 90, cal 90 calories per serving. 200 per container. And then... Last thing before the taste test. I love these. Oh, you love these? These I are. Love these. How do you pronounce that, Mercy? Stroopwafel. Stroopwafels. How do you pronounce this? Dalemans. Dalemans. Dalemans Stroopwafels. So, Mercy, as, as she said, loves these. 2.75 ounces. You get two soft toasted waffles filled with caramel, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. So good. Right? They're so good. Oh my gosh. Um, these. New York, New York, distributed in the U.S. by New York, although they are manufactured in the Netherlands. Very interesting. Is there a yes. treat? Yes. Yes. Yum. So Mercy vouches for those. Oh, yeah. Guys, that is it for the haul. It is time the for taste our test. taste test. Yay. And Mercy and I are doing this together. 
we are going to try four things. This is going to be fun. We'll just go in order of how they are in the bag. Um, we're going to try four things. The first thing that we're going to try are these HERS Grillmates Montreal Steak Potato Chips. So pretty self-explanatory. Um, they mean these to taste like a Montreal steak. That sounds good to me. I have a feeling I'll like these, but I've never tried them. Here is your calorie info. These are a product of Nottingham, Pennsylvania. That's what I thought. I knew hairs, um, hers or hairs. I can't remember. Someone in the comments told me how to pronounce it. If anyone knows how to pronounce this exactly, just tell me again. I knew and now I forgot. I'm going to guess hairs. I think it's hers. You think it's hers? Yeah. All right. Someone in the comments let us know. So I'm going to go with Mercy's for now. I'm going to say hers too. So let's try these. Here's the calorie info, 150 per serving, 420 per container, cholesterol, zero, um, carbs, 16 grams per serving. So let's try these. I'll just, uh, Mercy and I can both just reach into the bag. We'll just each grab a couple. I'll go ahead. I can just each one or just, yeah, get a good size chip there. there. So Montreal steak this will be interesting montreal steak mccormick you know brand name mccormick grill mates and how should we score should we do your um, let's do let's do 0.5 let's 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 go to the nearest okay. 0.5 of a score okay you ready yes. bon appetit Ladies first. Hmm. I'll say a little light for me. Like there's a little kick, but I don't know. I kind of like taste it kind of in like the back of my throat though. So I guess it's like a little bit, but overall I think seven out of 10 for me. I thought I would like these more than I do. Yeah. Um, When it says Montreal steak, I expected something different. I obviously didn't expect a potato chip you know, I love steak, for example. Like, I didn't expect a potato chip to, like, live up to I'm eating an actual piece of steak. However, there was an aftertaste there, and I love McCormick, all of their products. Oh, yeah. But I cannot give this, I cannot give this in good conscience above a 7.5, which is a C for me, which means I would probably not revisit these. I probably wouldn't buy these again. So for me, just a C, just average for me. So that was, you know, I'm glad we tried it. That was fun to try something different. But yeah, yeah. Mercy, so Mercy 7.0 for you, somewhere in there, mm -hmm. a 7. Like 7 or 6.5. Okay, yeah, 7.5 for me. And for me, it has to be 8.0 or more, I think, for me to get it again. Just because there's so many thousands, of, tens of thousands of foods out there. Oh, yeah. So, okay, so that's, you know, a bit of a miss for us, but I'm really glad we tried it. Next up, this is a brand I am not familiar with. I'm not familiar with Wise. These are Wise honey barbecue it doesn't even say the word potato chips obviously but that's what they are very um kind of a minimalist bag wise mm -hmm. honey barbecue potato chips let's see where wise All right. what's up that they're also pennsylvania pennsylvania usa distributed by wise foods berwick pennsylvania um it has 150 calories per serving and this is a 3.5 ounce bag um there is Six, no, cholesterol is zero, and the carbs, 15 grams per serving. So let's give these a try. This will be interesting. Honey barbecue potato chips. Now this one, the expiration date is actually very close, only 34 days away. So watch your expiration dates, everyone, when you buy food from the Dollar Tree. Always yes. watch your expiration dates. Okay, let's go. Right. Looking forward to this. Yeah. Honey barbecue. Go ahead, Merce. Oh, you got a big chip there. Ooh, look at I got that. a little bit smaller one, but are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Interesting. Hmm. I'll let you go first. Hmm. I have thoughts. I have thoughts, but you go first. Yeah, it's um a little just average. Just kind of there. I guess. You know, they're 
they're fine. Like if it's like a, maybe like a little palette cleanser, maybe like sure. But I don't know. I, eh, it's not really for me. I'd probably yeah. give it like a six out of 10. Five six out of 10. 10. Um, I'm there too. Seven, seven out of 10. Probably would not revisit it. Mm -hmm. Sure. This is a great company. You know, I like to support, you know, any company trying to make their way, but I just have to be honest. I have to call it like I see it. I don't think on a road trip that I'd be buying these instead of buying another trip from the Dollar Tree. I'd probably choose something else, but worth a try. Glad we tried it. So there you go. We're both kind of on the same wavelength on those. Okay, our last item is this home style barbecue corn chips. Now, this also has an expiration date of September 11th, 2023. So watch your expiration dates, of course. These are actually the Dollar Tree brand distributed by Greenbrier International Incorporated. Mm. Very interesting. Well, it's Homestyle Select and distributed by Greenbrier. So I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's one and the same. But I just thought I'd mention that because the other chips did not say distributed by Greenbrier. So very interesting. Um, let me just make sure I didn't say distributed. Yeah, no, these other ones are distributed by hers and Wise. So this is distributed by Greenbrier. Um, here's your calorie info, 150 per serving there and carbs are 17 grams per serving. So let's give these a try. These are made in Chesapeake, Virginia. So these are United States product, barbecue, corn chips. I normally feel like I would like something like this. So this will be interesting. I wonder if this will actually score in the eights or above for us. Mm -hmm. see. Has a distinct odor, I'll say that. Oh yeah. I can smell right away. I can tell right when I open the bag. I'm not sure if it's good or bad. What? I know I need a little air again actually. I need a tiny bit of air. I actually feel very humid in the car. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if the odor is a good or bad thing. Just a very kind of a distinct odor. But again, we are in a closed car, so my, that might add to it. It smells like a store. Oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Alright, well let's let's give these a try. Let's okay. give these a try. I have thoughts. Hmm. I'm going to see if we'll go first. I mean, it's got a little kick in there, I guess. I don't know. It didn't really taste like barbecue, though, for some reason. It just kind of tasted, like, spicy. Um, I don't know. I kinda, I like them better than the the honey than barbecue the chips. Less. Okay. But less than the um, the Montreal steak chips. So, uh, okay. I think 6.5 for 6.5 for, for you? Yeah. Um, this is our first disagreement. I am going to go 8.0, a B minus. Really? I don't love them, but I probably, I'm guessing, I don't know. I'll have to let you know. I might finish these, whereas there's zero chance that I would finish these others. Yeah. I would say. Um, but I might finish these, but I agree. I don't think there is a very distinctive barbecue taste, but I like them enough to finish the bag, which is sort of my... Would I buy them again? It's right on the edge. I probably wouldn't if there was a different, another kind of corn chips, like any kind of Fritos product, if it was $1.25, even if yeah. it was less, even if it was a smaller bag, I'd probably choose that. But I will give it just barely a B minus. I will go 8.0 on those. Plus so that's that is, kind of a weird smell. It does, no, and it, the moment we open the bag, we can both kind of smell it. We are in an enclosed car, so you're probably gonna smell it a little more. I did open the windows, so. All right, one more. So, okay, so there's our score for that. One more item to taste test. We are going to try. So we got three, we got uh, three of these and we're gonna try, we're gonna try this one. But we also bought these two. These are Sunbest. Uh, these are a product from the Netherlands. So we bought these three different kinds of bars, these two here, and then this one. And we're gonna taste test this one. So let me explain a little bit here. These are fruit and grain bars from SunBest Original Dutch Bakers. Eight gram whole grains, no high fructose corn syrup. You get four bars. You know, the box looks like this. 140 calories per serving. And again, these are Dutch, so they're made in the Netherlands, which is kind of cool. Product of the Netherlands, manufactured in the Netherlands. And so that's kind of cool. Um, the carbs are 28 grams per, so kind of high. So we decided 
you know, before we started recording, we kind of picked a flavor. There's strawberry, there's blueberry, which sound delicious, but we thought that we would try oh. the apple cinnamon. So Mercy and I are each gonna try, we won't eat the whole bar probably, but we'll try this here. Kind of opens, kind of has a little like serrated Ooh. opening there. So let's try this, Merce. I have a funny feeling we might like these, but you never know. So here is one for you, Mercy. All right, thank you. So there are four bars per box. And again, 140 calories and seven, 27 grams, 27 grams of carbs. This is what they look yeah. like. Yeah. And then, open. Yes. Got a decent amount of filling. Yeah. All right, so let's, um, I'm not gonna eat the whole bar, but let's try one. All right. Let's try a, a bite. Ready? Yes. Bon appetit. Oh, I have thoughts. Hmm. Well, Mercy will go first. They're very soft. I do really like the apple flavor quite a bit. I think it's quite good. I also really like the cinnamon in it too. I mean, they're just, you know, they're, just, they're average. They're not like extraordinary. They're not bad, but they're not great. They're well, that's good. interesting. You said good at first. Oh. And you said average. Which is fine. I'm just trying to figure. I think well, you're trying to figure it out as you go. Like in between, yeah. Like in between, like good and sure. like average. I would sure. say. Like these are decent. Seven out of ten. Seven. Okay. I thought you go a little higher. Okay. Please, but well, no, just because you said they're good. But I think you know, go with that for sure. Seven out of ten. Um, this is my. I like this one the best. This is not quite a nine for me. The old scoring system, I probably gave it eight point seven. So I'm going to go eight point five. I would get these again. Do I like them as much as some other brand name pies? Like maybe the pies from Walmart? I do not. And those are like 74 cents, some of those. However, if I'm at the Dollar Tree, I probably would get that again. And of course we haven't tried, for in the interest of time, we're not gonna try the blueberry or the cherry or the strawberry, which I have a feeling I would like even more than this perhaps. Cause I, I love those flavors. So an 8.5 for me, so, so a B. So guys, Thank you so much for watching. That is it for today's haul and taste test. This is a little bit longer of a video. Some of you have said, oh, I love the long videos. So I'm not apologizing. I'm just explaining. Guys, thank you so much for your patience. Those of you who love this channel. Some of you have even checked in and said, hey, is everything okay? You've like commented to me. So I appreciate you guys, each and every one of you so very much. We love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, until next time, keep shining. Keep smiling. Keep shopping.